Swallowed Star 2, Origin Continent. Chapter 191 to Chapter 192. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 191, The Founding of Daoha Sect, 5th of Volume 5. Note, for consistency, I will be referring to Mother River as the place where the members of River of Life resides. On the other hand, River of Life is referring to the name of the organization. The master of the Mother River, doesn't quite match the intelligence my master provided, Luo Feng thought. In the intelligence given by his master, Emperor Chu, the master of the Mother River was described as brutal and unruly, striking ruthlessly without mercy. He practiced both the Tao of Life origin and the Tao of Causality origin and wielded a terrifying secret treasure. That treasure, resembling a sharp spike, was known to the outside world as the Wind of Causality. Countless royal god kings of the Yenfeng ancient kingdom had perished at his hands, making him the kingdom's greatest enemy. Firstly, the highest rules of origin continent limit external beings' power to the peak of the chaos realm, while native beings are limited to the ultimate level of god king. Even if the two great ancestors return, the damage they can inflict in origin continent is limited. Secondly, the master of the Mother River's expertise in the Daos of life and causality gave him tremendous advantages in survival. Once, the Yenfeng ancestor had acted against him, and though limited by the peak god king level, the ancestor's overwhelming level and terrifying treasure instantly wiped out all of the master of the Mother River's avatars and revival vessels in the origin continent. However, after the Yenfeng ancestor departed, the master of the Mother River reappeared, clearly having found a way to avoid being completely erased by the ancestor. The Yenfeng ancient kingdom despises the master of the Mother River to the core, but they still can't kill him. Many god kings who have grudges against the Yenfeng ancient kingdom have joined the River of Life, with as many as seven or eight of them at the second level of god king. This makes the River of Life even more domineering and aggressive, Luo Feng had sensed this previously. The River of Life recruited members across his territory without bothering to inform him. Even a god king like Bei Feng dared to challenge him. And my master has a personal grudge against him as well, Luo Feng knew this. The master of the Mother River harbored enmity towards all the royal family of the Yenfeng ancient kingdom. One of Emperor Chu's closest relatives had died at the hands of the master of the Mother River, fueling the master's intense hatred and his repeated attempts to hunt him down. Faced with the ultimate life form Emperor Chu, who practiced the destruction origin Dao, the master of the Mother River couldn't compete, even when his main avatar wielded the secret treasure, Wind of Causality, so he was constantly forced to retreat. His subordinate, God King Bei Feng, was so arrogant, yet the master of the Mother River acted so friendly, certain that I would eventually join forces with him. Regardless, my master's kindness, as well as the favors of Emperor Ming, Chiyu Marquis, and Chuing Marquis, they've helped me enough, Luo Feng temporarily set the matter aside and turned to the original ancestor standing beside him. Original ancestor, let's go, Luo Feng said. The original ancestor nodded. Things had resolved far more smoothly than he had anticipated. Whoosh. Luo Feng, with the original ancestor, instantly departed. In the plaza, numerous eternal true gods gathered, several hundred of them looking confused. From now on, the Liehua sect will completely withdraw from the 20 chaos states under city lord Luo's control, and there will be no more recruiting or screening. You all may leave. A grand voice echoed across the plaza. We've come all this way, please have mercy on us. We want to join the Liehua sect. These eternal true gods were getting anxious. However, this decision was made by the highest leader of the river of life behind the Liehua sect. All forces were to withdraw from the 20 chaos states, with no exceptions. We received invitations and painstakingly traveled here. Though the Liehua sect selection is strict, at least one in ten of us could have gotten in, but now there's no chance at all. The Liehua sect may be mysterious and powerful, but clearly, it couldn't stand up to City Lord Luo. City Lord Luo is powerful, his battle with the Lord of Food Kingdom shook the heavens, but he wouldn't care about us eternal true gods. These eternal true gods were considered elites, invited to come here. Of course, they still had to pass a selection process, and out of several hundred, only a few dozen would have made it into the Liehua sect. The Liehua sect was one of the many factions under the control of the River of Life. These eternal true gods would be distributed among various forces, and there would be internal competition. Let's go, let's go. Sigh, we eternal true gods, it's so hard to find a legacy, to seek an opportunity. It's rare to come across a place like the Liehua sect, and now we've been driven away by city lord Luo. The hundreds of eternal true gods could only leave in disappointment. Yuan and Luo Feng returned together to the city lord's mansion in Huyang city. Luo He, Yuan spoke up, while investigating the river of life's infiltration of our 20 chaos states, I've gained considerable insight into the lives of ordinary eternal true gods. It's incredibly difficult for them to find an opportunity or a suitable legacy. That's why they care so much about the river of life's recruitment. Luo Feng nodded. In the origin continent, the chaos realm experts and various sects rely on their legacies and resources to drive their eternal true god subordinates to fight. In the past, Luo Feng had also spent a great deal of effort just to earn some resources. 
Although we've driven away the river of life, the eternal true gods within the twenty chaos states will have one less significant opportunity, Yuan remarked. What do you mean? Luo Feng asked, looking at him. Considering how fast you're growing, Luo He, the territory you govern may one day be far larger than it is now, Yuan explained. I think we can start cultivating suitable cultivators in advance. Luo Feng smiled and said, I'm not particularly concerned about the size of the territory I govern. If you become strong enough, to the point where you rival the emperors, you might find entire nations of god kings pledging their allegiance to you, Yuan said. Even god king Tian Kun in Food Kingdom might tremble in fear and offer you his entire territory. Luo Feng narrowed his eyes. Offer? God King Tian Kun wouldn't have the chance to offer anything. However, if God King Tian Kun were taken care of, the Food Kingdom territory would likely fall into his hands. You may not care about the size of your domain, but the common cultivators do, Yuan added. If a ruler is too cruel and ruthless, the lives of ordinary cultivators will be miserable, just like in the territory of the Snow Realm ancestor, the countless living beings in that realm suffer greatly. But under your rule, the lives of ordinary cultivators could be vastly different, Yuan continued. Luo Feng was struck by this realization. It was a small matter to him, but it could have a profound impact on countless cultivators. You're right, Luo Feng said, looking at Yuan. The original ancestor had a clearer view than he did. My numerous virtual avatars have integrated into all aspects of life in the origin continent, and some have even ventured into other nations, the original ancestor mused. I understand very well the kind of lives that ordinary cultivators lead. Luo Feng nodded. Then let's establish a sect, recruiting disciples under its name. What will the sect be called? The original ancestor asked. Dao sect, Luo Feng replied with a smile. The original ancestor immediately understood. He knew that back in the original universe, Luo Feng had once been called the Dao King. The rules of the sect, the recruitment of disciples, and all related matters. I'll leave that to you, original ancestor, Luo Feng said. The original ancestor had long ago created the secret technique of the virtual universe, and now that he had delved even deeper into this Dao, he had an unparalleled understanding of how worlds operated and the desires and emotions of all living beings. Luo Feng trusted no one more than the original ancestor to handle this matter. All right, the original ancestor agreed, happy to take on the responsibility since he had suggested it in the first place. He also cared deeply about the lives of ordinary cultivators. Our Daoha sect has the territory and resources, the only thing we lack is a truly powerful legacy, the original ancestor said. Although we could easily gather many legacies that lead to the Chaos Realm, the effectiveness of Chaos Realm legacies varies greatly depending on who created them. A Chaos Realm expert writes a legacy. A God King writes a legacy. Even a god king at the ultimate realm writes one. Though they all contain content that leads to the chaos realm, a legacy written by a god king at the ultimate realm is far simpler, more straightforward, and directly points to the essence, offering a much greater hope of reaching the chaos realm. I'll write them myself. I'll compile over a dozen god king level legacies soon, Luo Feng said. Good, Yuan's eyes lit up. With your experience and talent, Luo He, the legacies you create will naturally far surpass those ordinary ones you can buy outside. Writing god king level legacies was an easy task for Luo Feng. He had, after all, used his profound Chaos Realm insights to comprehend the Tenfold World Form and the First Strike of the Six Strikes of Chaos. His deep understanding of the Chaos Realm's mysteries was evident. Now, he had even comprehended the Six Branches of Life, the Six Branches of Destruction, and some techniques fusing both the Life and Destruction Origin Daos into the Life and Death Dao. Additionally, he had studied four top-tier legacies, greatly expanding his horizons. With such an accumulation, Luo Feng's self-created foundational God King level legacies would likely be more effective than many legacies created by those in the second realm of the God King level. Writing legacies was also a way for Luo Feng to review and summarize his own cultivation journey. Here are the 15 God King level legacies. In just over a hundred thousand days, Luo Feng completed the creation of the 15 legacies and stored them at the newly established headquarters of the Dao sect. That fast? Yuan picked up an upper volume of one of the God King level legacies and began reading. As he read, he became mesmerized. After finishing, he looked up at Luo Feng and exclaimed, This upper volume, leading to the Chaos Realm, is more concise and straightforward than any legacy I've ever seen, yet the upper limit is clearly much higher. Luo Feng smiled and nodded. The upper and lower volumes are part of a whole. The upper volume leads to the Chaos Realm and lays a solid foundation, which in turn makes it easier to cultivate the lower volume, thus increasing the chances of reaching the God King level. Luo Feng maintained the same attitude toward the sect's disciples as he did toward his own cultivation. He didn't expect them to comprehend advanced secret techniques while at a low level, but they had to at least master enough techniques within their realm to establish a solid foundation. Of the fifteen legacies, six focus on the life origin Dao, six on the destruction origin Dao, and three, well, they don't have complete Daos within the supreme rules. It'll be up to the fortunate ones to comprehend them, Luo Feng said. In Luo Feng's view, these were just foundational legacies. The six life legacies each focused on only one branch of life. The six destruction legacies each focused on only one branch of destruction. He had lowered the difficulty of becoming a god-king to the minimum. 
Of course, even then, producing a god king would still be incredibly challenging. With these 15 legacies, the foundation of the sect will be extremely solid, Yuan praised. I'll have to study them carefully myself. Even though I've long since reached the Chaos Realm, I now feel that my understanding of the Chaos Laws is still incomplete. As he studied the legacies, Yuan truly appreciated how solid Luo Feng's foundation was. Shall I begin recruiting disciples? Yuan asked. As for the sect leader of Daoha sect, I will openly declare it's you, Luo He. Only your reputation will make countless eternal true gods eager to join. The allure of Daoha sect will undoubtedly be far stronger than that of the secret of factions under the River of Life. After all, the River of Life was a force completely targeted by the Yenfeng ancient kingdom. Every time they recruited disciples, it was done in small groups, with no public sect headquarters known to the outside world. Daoha sect, founded by city lord Luo and ruling over the surrounding 20 chaos states, was a proper, grand sect. Begin the recruitment, Luo Feng nodded. Yuan was quite excited. In his view, in the future, when human experts from the human race completed their reincarnation and arrived in the origin continent, they would also become part of the Daoha sect. End of chapter. Chapter 192, The Team of Reincarnation Pavilion, 6th of Volume 5. Note, Daoha sect is also translated as Blade River sect in other translation tools. The establishment of Daoha sect was a monumental event for the dozens of chaos states surrounding Huyang City. Countless cultivators were thrilled, with some eternal true gods from within the borders of Food Kingdom and Yu Kingdom arriving, eager to join Daoha sect. The sect established by God King Luo He. God King Luo He was already unmatched in the Chaos Realm, and after becoming a God King, he can now rival the Lord of Food Kingdom. Among the cultivators of the surrounding Chaos States, who didn't know about the domineering nature of the Lord of Food Kingdom? Over the long years, Food Kingdom had constantly encroached and annexed the surrounding areas, even causing considerable losses to Kong Kingdom. Luo Feng's battle with the Lord of Food Kingdom, where he forcefully seized 10 Chaos States from Food Kingdom, proved his strength. Otherwise, why would the Lord of Food Kingdom have ceded those provinces? The establishment of Daoha sect, during its first recruitment, enrolled 1,508 Eternal True God Disciples, over 30,000 Void True God Disciples, and even with strict screening for True God Level Disciples, more than 50,000 were recruited, Yuan said. Morosa added, we've already raised the threshold as much as we could, but too many cultivators showed up. The numbers exceeded my expectations, Luo Feng said. With the sect newly established, its operation would likely have some flaws, so the first round of recruitment was meant to be controlled, and the standards were set high. Yet, the number of disciples selected ended up being several times higher than estimated. The main reason is that aside from our 20 chaos states, too many cultivators from the neighboring Food Kingdom and Yu Kingdom have rushed over, Yuan explained. Neither the Lord of Food Kingdom or the Lord of Yu Kingdom have established sects. Only the most elite and brightest eternal true gods from their nations are invited to become their disciples. The numbers are simply too few. Luo Feng nodded. Back then, he had been bright enough to receive an invitation from the Lord of Yu Kingdom, who wanted him as a disciple. But how many could shine so brightly? To the Lords of Food Kingdom and Yu Kingdom, disciples don't mean much, Luo Feng said. At their level, the resources provided by their nations were primarily for their families and subordinates. They cared more about the resources left behind by their predecessors and their own cultivation of the Hunyuan bloodline. This time, only about a third of the disciples we recruited are from our 20 chaos states, Yuan said. I'll leave the sex affairs to the two of you, Luo Feng smiled. Don't worry, Morosa immediately responded. Yuan nodded. Though they appeared to be two Chaos Realm cultivators, Morosa was actually at the God King level. The two of them managing the daily affairs of the sect was more than sufficient. We may need you to grant a few disciple slots, Luo He, Yuan said. Just nominal disciple slots will do. This will motivate the sect disciples to work harder. Let's start with ten nominal disciple slots and one personal disciple slot, Luo Feng agreed. That will be enough, Yuan nodded. Hearing this, Morosa couldn't help but feel a stir in his heart. The master is going to recruit a second personal disciple? Qingyan's position might not be so stable after all. That kid has been cultivating the bloodline system, and even though I've personally guided him and provided resources, he's only managed to comprehend one Chaos Realm technique so far. He's still far from becoming a Chaos Realm cultivator. Back then, Blood Cloud God Monarch mastered numerous Chaos Realm techniques, even forming a complete system. Qingyan needs to be pushed harder, Morosa decided inwardly. He knew very well that his master was exceptionally gifted, and with Daoha sect recruiting disciples on such a large scale, future personal and nominal disciples would undoubtedly be highly talented. Mo Yu Qingyan would need to reach the Chaos Realm and rely on his position as the senior disciple to secure his status. Otherwise, even as the senior disciple, if he remained just an eternal true god, he would be sidelined among the disciples in the future. The establishment of Daoha sect was a significant event not only in Huyang City but also in Food Kingdom and Yu Kingdom. However, in the broader context of the Origin Continent, it was a rather insignificant affair. At present, Daoha sect could barely even be considered a second-rate force. In terms of territory and overall sect strength, it was still too weak. Even among them, only the sect leader, God King Luo He, could be considered a true ruler of his own domain. 
In the blink of an eye, half an era had passed since the establishment of Daoha sect. HM. Emperor Gui Su is inviting me to a treasure land called Dream Realm. While in seclusion, Luo Feng received an invitation from the Reincarnation Pavilion, and his heart stirred. He immediately used his token to project his consciousness into the Reincarnation Pavilion. The Ethereal Tower had appeared before Luo Feng several times since he became an official member. He had received action invitations after becoming a god king, but he had declined them all. Brother Luo He called one of the two figures inside the Reincarnation Pavilion. It was the burly figure of Emperor Gui Su, who was smiling as he greeted him. Luo He echoed the other figure, a woman dressed in a pale green robe with a single eye, radiating a faintly sinister aura. She was none other than God King Yun Tian, also at the first level of God King. Only she and Luo Feng in the entire reincarnation pavilion were at this level. Note, in chapter 169, Yun Tian was translated as male in gender. I guess, that was wrong. Apologies for that. Luo Feng sat down casually and asked, who else is coming? God King Wu Xian will be here shortly, replied Emperor Gui Su. Luo Feng nodded. In just a few moments, a young man entered with a smile. Brother Gui, are there any other members? There are just the four of us this time, said Emperor Gui Su with a laugh. It's quite rare to have Brother Luo he accept an invitation. This is the first time he's been willing to take action since joining the reincarnation pavilion. God King Wu Xian added, Brother Luo he has been very busy lately, he just became a god king, had a battle with god king Tian Kun, and now he's established a sect. I've just finished with that, said Luo Feng. Establishing a sect only adds more burdens, remarked the one-eyed god King Yun Tian from the side. In the future, if you provoke great trouble, the sect will become a weakness. Emperor Gui Su commented, Brother Luo he is different from us. He excels in the technique of multiple incarnations and cultivates multiple Daos simultaneously, so his survival methods are far stronger. Even if he stirs up great trouble, how many would truly want to fight him to the death? I've come to understand that in the origin continent, survival skills are more important than killing skills. Agreed, nodded god King Wu Xian in agreement. You two still think your survival methods are weak, the one-eyed Yun Tian God King shook her head in disbelief. Emperor Gui Su, in his past life, had been killed when besieged by three emperors, yet he had managed to reincarnate in time. God King Wu Xian, whose frontal strength was comparable to that of Emperor Gui Su, was even better at escaping. He had evaded multiple assassination attempts by the Yenfeng ancient nation, only to reincarnate voluntarily when faced with the threat to his clan. After reincarnation, he remained hidden so well that even Yenfeng couldn't trace him through karma, making them fear him even more, refraining from easily targeting his descendants. Leaving descendants behind had become a form of leverage. Yen Feng had learned its lesson, after all, the threat posed by a terrifying god king with no attachments and a heart full of hatred was immense. In the past, when three emperors killed the wife, children, and even the entire city of Emperor Gui Su, they had believed they could annihilate him entirely. But his methods proved stronger than they expected. Even after handing over a secret treasure, he managed to survive their combined ultimate attacks long enough to reincarnate. After reincarnating, Emperor Gui Su had relentlessly targeted the Yenfeng ancient nation, particularly the newly ascended god kings, who were relatively weak. He had used every method at his disposal to attack them, even destroying their resurrection vessels. To date, he had completely annihilated seven or eight god kings of Yenfeng ancient nation, causing them great pain. Let's get to the main point, said Emperor Gui Su as he sat down. This time, I plan to venture into the treasure land known as Dream Realm. I've invited all the members, but it's just the four of us who are willing to go. There are several treasure lands left behind by Ancestor Yuan in the Origin Continent. Some areas require special access, while others are open to everyone. However, because they aren't restricted, the entry threshold is extremely high. Powerful factions will try to monopolize these areas, and if you want to enter, you'll have to fight your way in. Dream Realm Luo Feng naturally knew the intelligence about this treasure land. With my current strength, I wouldn't be able to fight my way in. If I tried to enter through my connections with Yenfeng Ancient Nation, I'd have to work under them. As a guest elder, that's the condition, if you want to enter, Yenfeng Ancient Nation can let you in, but you must complete numerous tasks. And most of the treasures you obtain would go to the royal family. That's the price of entry. We usually take action as a group of three, Emperor Gui Su said with a smile. This time, we have Brother Luo He joining us, so it will be much easier. When things get dangerous, we can ask Brother Luo He to help with reconnaissance. Leave it to me, Luo Feng nodded. For dangerous reconnaissance, I can use one of my weaker incarnations. In the future, the four of us will act together, Emperor Gui Su continued. God King Yun Tian will handle the domain, while Wu Xian and I will deal with strong enemies, and Brother Luo he will focus on scouting. Previously, all the scouting was left to me, God King Wu Xian chimed in with a pleased tone. While I'm great at escaping, I only have one true body. If I get into serious trouble, I might not even be able to escape. But now, with Brother Luo he scouting, it's much better, his incarnations don't even care about escape. Do the others usually not participate? Luo Feng asked. Empress Feng and Earthly God King are strong enough to rival emperors and monarchs, Wu Xian explained. Unless something truly significant happens, they won't get involved. 
to them, were more of a burden than help. Luo Feng nodded. Empress Feng had a great reputation and had never broken ties with any major forces. Earthly God King, though he often fought with Thunder Ancient Nation, always acted alone. The Great Freedom Sovereign is the second most powerful figure in the Wanjia Nation, only beneath the Wanjia Nation Lord himself. As the Nation Master's personal disciple, he holds a high position and isn't lacking in resources. He usually won't participate in such actions, Wu Xian continued. Note, Wanjia is also translated in other translation tools as Myriad Worlds, 10,000 Realms, and 10,000 Laws Pavilion. And then there's King Tiandu, the personal disciple of Yenfeng's progenitor, he also rarely participates in regular operations. As for the Blackfire Demon Lord, since he leads a major faction, he won't easily join in either. The top resources in Origin Continent are the only things that can attract those three, Wu Xian said with a laugh. As for me, Emperor Gui Su, and our sister Yun Tian, we usually act solo, so we often team up. Now we'll have Brother Luo He with us as well, Emperor Gui Su said with a hearty laugh. Although Brother Luo He leads his own faction, he has many incarnations, after all. Our team is even stronger now, Wu Xian said, clearly satisfied. It's thanks to Brother Gui Su and Brother Wu Xian leading me, I'm the weakest in the group, said the one-eyed woman in green. I'm new to these operations, so please speak openly if anything arises, Luo Feng added. Brother Luo He, you're too polite, Emperor Gui Su said. He valued Luo Feng highly. Having just become a god king and already this powerful, what heights could he reach in the future? He would surely be a great asset on Emperor Gui Su's Dao of Vengeance. Though Luo Feng might currently be unwilling to clash with Yen Feng Ancient Nation, working with him to obtain more resources from Treasure Lands would make both sides stronger, a mutually beneficial cooperation. The Treasure Land Dream Realm will require Emperor Gui Su and God King Wu Exian to fight their way in, Luo Feng understood. Both were among the peak of the second tier God Kings, even stronger than God King Tian Kun. Normally, reaching this level as a second tier God King was the limit. Advancing further to the level of emperors or monarchs, According to the known methods in Origin Continent, one either had to comprehend a complete Tao of the Origin Tao, like the Lord of Wanjia Nation, or cultivate into an ultimate life form, like the emperors and monarchs of the two ancient nations, which required immense resources. Alternatively, some, like Empress Feng and the Master of Mother River, had exceptional talents and cultivated multiple Daos while inheriting powerful legacies, allowing them to reach that level. If everyone's in agreement, we'll meet at Huangyao Mountain in three days, said Emperor Gui Su. End of chapter. Looking for more novels? Feel free to explore my playlist.